Out in eastern Washington, where the sky runs wild and so do the cattle, take Highway 97 North about as far as it'll go. Here, you'll find the tiny town of Nighthawk, right where it's been since 1899. These days, there are more horses than humans here. <laughs> I don't believe there's too much nightlife in Nighthawk. But if you want to visit a real ghost town, check out the Northwest's loneliest border crossing. We have very few cars that do cross through here throughout the daytime. Jesse Proctor and his team of U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers don't see a lot of action. You know, whenever a car does come up, they are glad to see somebody coming through here. In fact, during our visit, exactly one car crossed the border. Sometimes of the year, that would make it a busy day. We've had uh, days where there hasn't been anyone to come through the port of entry. This crossing does not handle freight. Trucks don't cross through here. And they keep very reasonable hours. Nighthawk is uh, an eight hour port and it's only open from nine in the morning to five at night. When traffic is light, which is almost always, the team finds other things to do. Taking care of inventories. And they work to stay vigilant. Online courses that we do throughout the year. There's been a border facility here since at least the early 1900s. The types of travelers have changed over the years, from miners and moonshiners to campers and Canadians out for a drive. It could be a traveler, sightseer, that's gonna come through here. Um, occasionally it might be, you know, someone that lives, you know, about 10 or, or so miles up the road to check their mail, get groceries and whatnot. What started as a tiny wooden customs house a century ago is now a state-of-the-art facility powered by sun and an apparently endless supply of wind. So the Nighthawk border crossing is poised for many more years of service to come. Long, lonely years. The lifestyle is a lot slower than your larger towns and whatnot. And a lot of people that move up here, that's what they're looking for here at the Port of Entry.